If you don't want a woman to nag at you, do not impregnate them. What's up guys? Yeah, good. First of all, I'd like to say I know this is not a vlog, but let me explain. Today, I just had a lot of paperwork to do for my permanent residency over here, and I didn't want to bore you with that. And now, it is quarter to seven, and I'm like, what the hell? So, in yesterday's vlogs, I asked you, if you want to ask me some questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I will answer a question in every single vlog. And because it's the first time doing it, and it is a brand new channel, I thought, why not just answer all the questions you guys left me, and then the future vlogs, I will pick one at a time and give you guys shout how about that? How about that? And if you like this setup once in a while, just let me know in the comment section and then I'll know. Obviously, majority of the time it's going to be vlogs and once every day I'm going to come in here at the beginning of the vlog, end of the vlog, and you know, because it's, it's a nice starting little base. I was supposed to do this stuff, remember? You know, if you watched yesterday's vlog, I was supposed to like decorate this, but I had too much work to do. So I have my laptop in front of me, I have the questions in front of me, so let's start answering. Rose Rye asks, talk about how you first got into YouTube. Since this is a new channel, not all your subscribers have come from your old channel. Also, the angle of your laptop in the office is odd. Maybe move the camera a little bit to the left. Look, first of all, the angle is completely off because it's a stupid angle table. This isn't the main table. This is just like a temporary table until I can afford to buy the main table. Then it's going to be straight, you know, because I like everything to be parallel. Secondly, I think it's a good angle because I'm trying to show you my Funko Pop in the back. Like, do you not want to see my Funko Pops? Look, I even added some features. Look, my book, my YouTube YouTube bottle, is that not good enough for you? But back to answering the question, I first got into YouTube, I think in 2011. I started off wanting to chase my singing career because man can sing. And along the way, I kind of realized I was quite the entertainer and people kind of liked the comedy more than my singing, even though I still can sing very, very good. And I just carried on. So that's how I started. Eventually, I made a friend called Hamza and we did Diary of a Bad Man together. And it just started from there. I've always just wanted to entertain people and thank God YouTube came around and now I can be as stupid as I want on camera for you guys. I hope that's a good enough answer because I don't know what else to say. So you can write I was lazy but not her channel. I should slap you mother f First of all, calm the hell down. It was actually her idea to write I was lazy because she knows I'm lazy to do it and she was going to get promoted regardless but she thought it was fine to write I was lazy. Why did it affect you so much? I mean that's my wife. Surely it should affect me more than anyone else but for some reason it's affecting you so chill the F out. And that question came from Shadow B, the God. Atik Wasi, I'm doing travel vlogs, so whenever I travel, I vlog. However, how can I get more views and subscribers? P.S. I'm learning barbering, and to be honest, you did a good job. I know, I know man did a good job. Right, how to get more views? It's simple and it's hard. One, be consistent, which means either upload once or twice a week. Consistency is the key. That's the reason why I'm doing daily to challenge myself. Secondly, unfortunately doing dumb things is the only way that gets views nowadays. Because even I'm struggling to get views right now. This is a brand new channel and even I'm barely getting a thousand views. But don't let that bother you. Don't care about views and subscribers. Make the content that you want to make first. Be happy with yourself. And as long as you are making good content, people will follow. The first people you should send it to are your friends. Tell them to share it. And that's how you get more views in the beginning. After that, it's about the content or just do something stupid. And I don't promote that. Don't do anything stupid because I can't think of anything stupid to do that can go viral. I'm just trying to think. That's not the kind of content that I want to make. Make the kind of content that you want to be known for. Okay, Kilani Siva Kumar asks, my brown AF parents don't accept me as bisexual. What do I do? Ooh, why you gotta make me answer such hard questions? I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. I'm gonna speak from my mind. The first thing that came to mind was, why did you tell them? <laughs> because they weren't gonna accept it. That's the dumb answer, okay? But the good answer, I suppose, let me, let me think about it. To be honest, for brown people, that is a very hard subject, especially if your parents, your family are religious. They don't seem to want to understand it at all they don't care about you. But if your parents aren't religious, right? My question is, have you spoken to them about it? What did they actually say? Personally, me, I would challenge how much they love me. Ah, oh, this, this is so hard. First of all, I would like to say, you do you, okay? At the end of the day, whatever makes you happy should make them happy. And sometimes, you know, we have to make some decisions that are gonna hurt some other people, but be better for you. Like, look, I'll be honest with you, I moved to Canada. It made my wife happy, but it made my parents sad. And I'm sad about that as well. But sometimes you have to do something for yourself for the greater of your future. And if your parents really love you, 
they will understand. And also guys, please don't criticize me for my answers. That was a very, very tough question for anyone to give advice on. Because if you went and asked any other person that was like, fight the power, they'd be like, no, you do this. Tell your parents, go move out. I don't, I don't want to give you that kind of advice to like go move out you know, go against your parents' wishes. You need to sit down, you need to talk with them and make them understand. And then if the time comes, depending on how old you are, if you can stand on your own two feet, stand on your own two feet. Wasp asks, what's it like owning pizza shops in England, but living in Canada? Let me tell you the situation. I have two pizza shops in the UK, but the one that I initially run the most was in Southall and I franchised that out. The second one, which is our main one, which is in Feltham, my brother runs. So what we did was, because I was moving to the UK, we split the two shops. One is his, one is mine. And then I sold mine as a franchise. I made my money that way. And now the one in Feltham is my brother's. I have nothing to do with it. I cashed out, but I'm still a part of the company. This question comes from Haider Abbas. I know you. He asks, the cutthroat is so tricky to get right. Took me a while to realize what I was doing. Potential video idea, maybe? Yes, I'm gonna be trying to do it. But the funny thing is, I can't teach you because I don't know myself. Maybe I'll do it in one of my vlogs the next time I need to line myself up. I'll put it in the vlog. We'll do that. It won't be a tutorial, but I'll do it in the vlog. Kush Chohan asks, what was your dream job when you were a kid? Now, I can't remember. All I remember is, I'm saying I don't remember, but I remember. I said I wanted to be a dustbin man. I don't know why. There was a movie called Men at Work with Charlie Sheen and his brother and they were garbage collectors and I thought that was cool because they made it look cool because like you know they were picking up the garbage and everything and then they were doing high fives and you know with the with the can lids and stuff and you know and then there was a dead body in the back and they oh uh, yeah that was kind of a brutal kind of film other than that I, I stole a lot so maybe I wanted to be a thief but you know it, that didn't work out either Bilal Tariq asks would you still move to Canada if you didn't marry Sim the answer is no because if I didn't know anyone in Canada, there was no point in me moving, but I've always wanted to move to a different country, preferably America or Canada. Just by chance, I met a beautiful woman called Sim. You can go follow her if you want to. All her links are in the description. She's got a YouTube channel, she's got a Snapchat and Instagram. You can go check her out. Um, if I didn't meet a beautiful woman like that, it probably wouldn't have happened. I would have still been in the UK and I would have never have moved out of the UK. Let me tell you why she's perfect. I'm in here making a video. She's out there playing Fortnite. She ain't the kind of woman that's gonna be like, oh babe, help me with the laundry because you keep on playing games. No, she's like, hey bitch, do the laundry because I want to play the game. That's why I love her. Zidane Rafiq asks, and it's a good goddamn question Zidane. Do you miss Rainbow Drops and the UK? First of all, yes, I miss rainbow drops. I'm trying to find it in the whole of Canada. I can get it online, but it's so goddamn expensive. You lot, I'm telling you now, if I open up a PO box, right? If I open up a PO box and I say, guys, send me what you want. You can send me a letter. You can send me a, a card, a picture. I don't care, right? But if you send me rainbow drops, yeah, I will rate you and I'll shout you out. Bang. I'm gonna actually do a PO box soon. And I swear, if you send me rainbow drops from the UK, I will rate you for life. As for the UK, I miss my family and I miss my friends. That, that's that's really it. Yamin Rahman asked a good question. Where is the LBW, guys? Hashtag LBW. Do you even know what that means? Do you even know what that means? It means like before you watch. Where is that gang? Where is the gang of people that like the video before you watch it? There's one person, I swear to you, there's one person that watches my videos, right? And dislikes it within the first minute. Who the f are you stop disliking my videos man trying to entertain people that want to be entertained if you don't want to be entertained go somewhere else if it's you comment down below and say it's me so i can block you i just felt that that would be a funny part in the video if i challenged it like i don't know let me know if that was funny give me a thumbs up if that was funny I, I, i'm trying shy bmx asks what beard trimmer do you use i'm not going to answer the question because I, I don't have it here what i'm going to do i'm going to leave a link in the description for you to go check out that is personally for you Yo, i put something in the description for you do you understand how sick that is just for you man put a link in the description for the people that have made it to this part of the video give yourself a clap i rate you you are my best subscribers that genuinely watch all of the video if you have watched it up until now if you have watched it up until now first of all give this video a like because you should have in the beginning because you are that dedicated secondly if you're new to the channel and you watched it this far you must think i'm entertaining so hit that subscribe button i know you're debating right now it's like oh look he's saying to you know like press this I, I don't want to he's all right you know He's kind of handsome and stuff. I love the beard, but do I really want to move the mouse? Yes, move the mouse and press subscribe because 
I will love you forever. H-Man asks, how do you put up with a girlfriend who is going to be giving birth and all she does is nag at you and tell you to get salads every single day? Now, I'm gonna assume for a second you impregnated her. Now, if you don't want a woman to nag at you, do not impregnate them. Take your willy away from women, never touch them again, problem solved. That's it, you, you can't stop a woman from nagging because she wants a salad. First of all, if your pregnant girlfriend wants a salad, you should be thanking yourself. There are women out there, I'm trading on thin ice right, there are women out there who want Big Macs, big fatty food, and they get even bigger, right? But this woman, this woman loves you so much, she thought, you know what, I don't want to get too fat, I want to be healthy and keep slim for my man, and for herself, ladies, don't, don't be pressing no dislike button, and she wants to say thin. So if she wants a goddamn salad, you better be not going to go get one, you better be the man who is gonna be making the goddamn salad. And if you don't like it, chop off your willy. Ahmed Musa asks, JP, is it possible for you to answer this question? Must be a serious one. Must be a serious question, let's see. As a young Asian bad man in London, how do I become successful? This is gonna be the easiest one ever. Ready? Okay. Do not call yourself a bad man unless you are bad man, okay? And even he don't even call himself bad man. He calls himself Hamza, do not call yourself a bad man because you will not be successful in your life because you are thinking man is road and man wants to be successful in it. What you need to be is Ahmed that goes to school, gets a sick education, goes to university, gets an even sicker education, gets a sick job after, makes his parents proud, bam, successful. Unless you are my friend Hamza, okay? That's the only person that I've, that I've known that has become successful by calling himself bad man. Okay, shout out to my boy Hamza, love you, miss you, and all the rest of the boys as well. Asif, Yogi, I don't even know if you guys even watch this video, so if you don't, I hate you, right? Sammy, Ayaz, Umar, am I missing anyone? Nope, love you guys. And that's it, that's all the questions you lot have asked that I could actually answer. Other ones were things like, are you crazy? I, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm entertaining. If you like this type of video, maybe I might do it once in a while. I don't want to be making full videos just sitting in my office because this is a vlog channel, okay? I just had no choice. And as from now, I'm only going to be answering one question per vlog. So make those questions good so I can give you a good answer and a good shout out. And until tomorrow, that's a wrap. Okay, it's on a stand today, guys. So that was kind of awkward.